But this is trucking. So every week, the company is bringing in new recruits, new drivers. Brian Little. <laughs> So for every one driver that leaves the company, there's 10 more drivers coming in. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They say the more you give, the better. You should avoid leaving abruptly at all costs. As your abrupt departure can go on your DAC report and harm your employment chances down the line. Maybe, maybe, but sometimes abrupt, abruptness is what's needed. Maybe you just feel so dejected that you can't give them two weeks. You just feel so dejected that, yo, bump it, man. I'm trying to get up out of here now. And on the flip side of that, the company knows that you your knows of your intentions and in quitting then they're going to start fucking your you know fucking you over for the last two weeks oh. congratulations you played yourself instead of getting three thousand miles now you're getting a thousand you see what i'm saying instead so what's the point of staying there if if they're not going to treat you no better than what they was treating you for the reason why you quitting Because when you tell a company that you about to quit to give them two weeks notice, boom, they 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 already in the midst of shutting down your card and start giving you fucked up uh fucked up loads and fucked up miles. Because they already know you quitting. They don't give a fuck. They already have somebody else ready to take your seat bro they bring in new people every week there's there's new orientation classes every week every monday and every wednesday every monday and every wednesday they bring in people in every week and you want to be the nice guy oh i'll, I'll give you guys two weeks the only reason why you would give a company two weeks notice is to leave that door open. You give them two weeks notice, you leaving that door open. So in case you need to slide back into their DM. I see a man post he female. So I hit him in his DM. You, you won't have a problem of getting back in their good graces. That's all, that's what two weeks notice is for. That's it, that's all. Just to leave the door open. That's about it. Me, I've been off for three weeks, so I, I, I gave them more than enough. They called me back, they said, yo, we got a 2019 Volvo ready for you. No. I don't want a 2019 Volvo. I was promised a 2020. And that's what I want. I want what, what I was promised. Is there a 2020 there? No, no 2020s here. I'm good. Where's the truck lockout? It's at the it's at the shop. It's already there. Truck wasn't abandoned. Load wasn't abandoned. Well, how 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 did you get home? I got a rental car and I got home. F you money. <laughs> and credit card. F you money and credit card. That's what I had. Number three, thank the dispatcher, safety director, managers, and more. No matter what your relationship with the company, take the time to personally thank the people you worked with from your fellow truck drivers to the company's ownership let them know that you appreciated the 
opportunity to build your career and will always be grateful for working with them. Let's be honest. Do the company owner really cares about you thanking them? Bro, you quitting. <laughs> you quitting. And so, okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, who's the next candidate? Bring them in. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I, I did. You know, I, I, I was on the phone with uh, Steve. You know, I said, Steve, thank you for the opportunity. I called my uh, I called the recruiter or I left him a note. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, um, I, I told the dispatcher, I said, bro, thank you for the opportunity. I did that. But let's be for real, for real. I mean, you quitting. And you're quitting for a reason. Do you really want to call up the safety director just to be like, yo, thank you for the opportunity, man. Safety director, are you serious? Oh. Congratulations, you played yourself. But let's be on the for real side, though. I mean, I did say thank you to the safety director, to the previous, previous safety director, because I liked it, him. <sighs> Leave the truck and the equipment where your employer requests nine times out of ten your employer or the trucking company will tell you hey bring the truck back to the terminal or leave it at the at the yard or take it over to loves ta petro flying j pilot and we'll have another driver to you know relay that truck or whatever make sure and i i, I hate to say this I really do, but when you're talking, when you're leaving the company and you're talking over the phone, find a way to record that call. I'm serious. Take my word for it. Find a way to record that call so that no fallback will be on you. If the dispatcher say leave the truck at the terminal, and then the fallback will be from from HR talking about, oh, well, we're going to have to put on your DAT report that you abandoned the truck some elsewhere. No. Dispatcher told me to leave it at the yard. That's where I left it at. It's in the yard. Are you sure about that? Who told you to leave it there? I got one better for you, bruh. Dude. Leave it at the yard at the terminal and turn the keys into the box. Shh. What was that? A recording, my G. A recording. Yes. That part. And you know what? It's legal. You know why? Because it's a two-party call. Only one party has to give the consent. And you know who that one party is? that guy yes oh okay never ever under any circumstances though for real for real abandon your equipment it does not matter if your employee is is a shouting tyrant if a report of an abandonment equipment goes on your record it could spell serious trouble it's the right there for future employment that's what they looking for you abandon the truck that tells that tells the next employer that you don't give a fuck about their equipment and owner operators and smaller outfits care about their equipment maybe not so with mega carriers because they got people that's coming in every week to go and recover a truck but for a smaller outfit and for owner operators, 
it costs them more money, more time, more effort to go and get their truck. So that's what they're looking at. Leave a truck, trailer, and all other equipment with the truck exactly where your dispatcher wants it to be. Return the equipment in good condition, and most carriers will pay for your travel home. They will pay for your travel home. They will pay for your bus ticket home. Now, mind you, you got a gang of shit in your truck. Remember what I told you when we started when we started this episode? Just rewind it back. Stop the tape right here. Scroll back and then and then listen to what I had to say about taking your truck or getting routed home first. Clean it out. Take pictures inside and out and maybe go and get a shower at the Blue Beacon. And then when you take the truck back, you don't even have to worry about getting me home, bro. I, I can get my own way home. If you're going to give me $50, I'll take it, though. But I'll get my own way home. Nine times out of ten, when, when I got terminated from U.S. Express, they made, me, they made me clean out the truck right then and there. And they, was give, they gave me a bus ticket. They gave, me the, they gave me the amount of a bus ticket. They only gave me $50. I had a whole bunch of shit in my damn KW. I had the whole kitchen sink, dishes, crock pots, air fryers, clothes, t-shirts, hats, all of it. And I had to pack all that shit in the box, leave it at Tunnel Hill, go home and have Tunnel Hill to forward my shit to my house. That wasn't going to happen. So don't abandon. Don't abandon. All right. Keep a record of communication. That's what I was telling you guys about recording everything. Keep a record of every conversation. If they email, keep the email. If they text, keep the text. You can protect yourself and your reputation by keeping records of all communications between you and the dispatcher and whoever else involved with you leaving the company. Keep a copy of your registration, their replies, their requests. Document that the states of all the equipment was returned in. Any inaccurate, uh, inaccurate co inaccuracies comes up on your DAC report, you have the documents to supersede that. Company A, uh, Company B calls you up, hey, lockout. Man, all, all this is on your dad report. We can't. Whoa, stop. I I got proof here. What you need me to do for it? Email it, fax it. Uh, Dropbox. What, what do you need? I got everything. Get a documentation of employment. Build when you building your resume. You know, and, and some of you guys. You know, job jump to job jump to job jump to job jump. And some of you guys probably, you know, within the five years, y'all probably job jumped like 20 times. And out of that 20 times, you don't know who, who, who you work for. I mean, when I got into this game, I had to literally go back and get a 10 fucking year record of all employers and gaps. I, I think I paid about. $120 at the Social Security office to give me all the records that was dealing with my Social Security of all the places that I worked at. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Building a resume for your future, man, meaning it's important to keep all your records for the long term. Find, you know, get you a little three debts form folder and put all in there. Take the time to get the documentations of each of your employers, including the copies of your sa oh, safety files. I haven't even thought about that. Get a copy of your safety files. Employment records and accommodations. 
call if if call back up your previous company, they they have to give it to you. Hey, uh, do you, do you have a do you have a safety record for me, man? Can you can you give me that? Can you give me the can you give me the time that you guys gave me a bonus for having a good safety record? Can you give me that? Can you give me all of that? I need all of that. I need all of that. <laughs> oh man. And listen, before we get on up out of here, um, I might make this I'm, I might make this like a two parter or something like that. You know, because usually my commentary, I want to keep it at a minimum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh I kinda like kinda like went over that. So I probably might just take uh take each individual cop I mean each individual clips and break it down into like 20 minute clips or something like that and then spread it over a week that might be a good idea you know what i'm saying i, I don't want to make a whole hour you know what you know what i probably might might do it like vlad style like like do like every every clip and then later down the line i'll just put the full the full thing i don't know let me let 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 I don't know. At least this part of the video, you probably might not hear it until late anyway. Um and last but not least, ask for any letters of recommendation. <laughs> if any. <laughs> if any, okay? If any. And what I mean by that, you're quitting the company. And you're going to go back to the company that you quit and say, hey, bro, uh, you know, I'm giving, uh, you know, I'm quitting. I'm putting in my two weeks notice. But can you give me a letter of recommendation? <laughs> They're going to look at you like, oh, congratulations. You played yourself. For real, bro. You want me to give you a you want me to give you a letter of recommendation. Yeah, we'll we'll give you a letter of recommendation, all right. Finally ask for a letter of recommendation from a company leader who knows you well. And the only person that might knows you well in 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 the company is the dispatcher, fleet manager, driver manager, However manager you want to call them, them the only ones that you have constant contact with. So if you're quitting the company because of the dispatcher, I don't think said dispatcher is going to give you a good recommendation. I'm just saying. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's say you go above the uh, above the dispatcher and say, hey, safety guy, can you give me a recommendation? I don't know you. Who are you? Uh, I'm lockout man. Uh, lockout man, lockout man, lockout man. Truck number 1111, bro. Oh, 1111. Oh, okay, lockout man, okay. All right, uh, what you want for me again? Can you give me a letter of recommendation? Um, I don't think I will be the person to do that. Uh, you might want to check with your your fleet manager, supervisor, uh, 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 DM, driver manager, dispatcher. Uh, well, he's the reason why I'm quitting. Oh, okay. It shows that you're, you know, asking for a letter of recommendation also shows that you are reliable, dedicated, fully capable of handling tasks and giving a personalized account of your work. But this is trucking, though. They already know that you're reliable because you're sacrificing. And. If I'm fully capable, I'm fully dedicated, I'm fully reliable, then why the fuck am I quitting? Let's think about it this way. Why do I need to ask for a letter of recommendation 
if I was all of that? Why am I quitting? Why am I quitting, bro? If I had to ask for a letter of recommendation, why am I quitting? So just, you know, to put everything in perspective, I, I wanted if you stayed this long to this to the end of this video, thank you very much. This this goes to show that you're interested in knowing of some of the things that is not being talked about in the trucking realm. And this is the stuff that I like to talk about, not just what you already know, but something like this, what you don't know. You don't know how to you, you don't have, you don't know how to leave a company. You don't know what to do if you get upset over the road and you pissed off and 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 you just want to just leave the truck any or where. I, I just gave you seven tips. Seven tips, seven do's and don'ts, or mostly don'ts, <laughs> when leaving your trucking company. Remember that when you're leaving the trucking company, remember that when you leave, when leaving the trucking company, it will follow you throughout your entire trucking career. Be respectful, be thankful, and be professional when leaving the company and you'll be and you'll be a better hire throughout your life in the trucking industry and that my fellow people is going to do it for tonight's commentary i really do appreciate you guys joining me i appreciate you guys watching if you like content like this make sure you share it to somebody that might be interested or might be going through the same thing if you like to come on or have something for me to talk about leave it in the comments below uh hit me up in the gmail at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com or hit me up in the dm over on instagram i really do appreciate you guys being here i appreciate you guys watching and until the next time everybody i'm going to come back at you with another one Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>